Hello everybody, I'm Nycad. We are playing a Teleglitch. Episode 2, level 3. This is actually my second attempt. You'll notice that I have a bunch of different weapons here. Uh, I started recording, died about three minutes into it. So I've decided I'm probably not going to show that. Oh, we got... Ooh, nice! We got a... A, uh... What you call it? A, uh... Assault rifle. Right off the bat, so that's great. Uh, we have basically the same weapons we did last time, except now I also have a pistol. I happen to find a second one in one of the levels there. So we're just going to continue on. Hopefully... This will go better than last time. Last time I died to a bunch of marines. Whoa. Like that guy. Kind of jittery about them now. Anybody in here? Nope, there's a nail box. That was... That's a loud room, nothing in it. <clears throat> oh, that's the guy we killed. Anybody else in here? Is that anything? No. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa! Not a good place to run into these guys. Not a good place to run into these guys. Uh oh. Crap. Crap. Med kit. Gotta get out of them. Oh man. Oh crap. So this is like a zombie swarm or something like that. Oh man. Uh, the shotgun was working well, let's just stick with that. Okay, wow, that was both unexpected and quite shocking. <laughs> I still hear one. Where is he? Where's the other guy? Did he get... Trapped back over here. There they are. Oh! Uh, what bullets for that? They take a lot of ammo from the nail gun to kill. Um, a few things. Can we craft anything interesting? An standard assault rifle modified to operate with a drum magazine. Uh, sure, let's make that. I probably should have used that. Let's reload. Uh, how are we on? Ammo, let's reload everything. Of course, now we're out of bullets for this thing. That's empty, but I'm holding on to it, just in case. We have a second one of those. Let's make some more nail ammo. There we go. Alright. Continuing on. Whoa! Oh, this isn't going to be good. And, of course, more are spawning. That big guy's the main concern here. Uh, let's bring out this thing. Yeah, we'll just use a nail gun. Finish this guy off. Oh yeah, and another one spawns. Canned meat, let's eat that. Uh, we can't make a plate. Um, no, let's get this, I guess. We'll continue in this direction. So, if I do end up dying, I think I'm going to... Uh, just put this on hold. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> the difficulty on these levels ramps up pretty quickly after three. I'm. Oh, crap. I'm a little bit skeptical that, uh... 
I'm a little bit skeptical that I'm actually going to beat this level now. Um, like I said, if I don't, what I'm going to do is just uh, play it again at some point in the future. Probably not right away. Anybody else going to come out of that? No? Okay. Uh, what's up here? This thing. And this. Like the last time, if you want to read those things, feel free to pause. I was a little bit quick on that one, but I'll leave them on, on the screen for a little bit longer. Uh, let's go this way. Starting to get a little... Oh, a secret entrance. Starting to feel a little bit gun-shy about... Uh, Opening any doors now. People gonna spawn. Yep! Oh, crap! Come on. Take out a bunch of you. I don't want to use up all of my uh, machine gun ammo. On these guys. Uh, let's use the revolver. Oh man. Eat that can meat. We don't even have a med kit. Ooh. This, uh. This might not- I can't even imagine what it's gonna be like when we get to like level 9 or something like that, if we do. Because, I mean, the, the things we're encountering already... On the- what are we on, level 3? Are already pretty overwhelming, and this is actually- You know, I'm usually not a fan of... The, uh, oh, what's gonna happen when we push this? Usually not a fan of the zombie genre of games. Where's the horde that's gonna be blast doors open? That doesn't sound good. Um. Oh, one of those guys. Okay, let's bring out the shotgun. Oh, jeez! <laughs> you know, just every time you think, oh, maybe I'll just walk into this room. Horde of mutants or zombies or whatever these things are. Um. Nail gun. So I'm usually, like I said, I'm usually not a fan of the kind of survival horror genre of games, things like, um, I'm not going to use that up, things like Resident Evil, any more going to come out? Okay, what's that? Another assault rifle. But this is actually kind of fun. Like, things like Resident Evil, things like, uh, I guess Silent Hill would even count, or, um... <clears throat> a lot of the more recent games have been pretty zombie-focused, a lot of the things you see, and I'm not a big fan of those, but this is pretty... For as simple as it is, like, the, me the mechanics aren't particularly... You can, uh, spill out a bunch of zombies? No? Okay. The mechanics, uh, what was I saying? For as simple as the mechanics are, this is a pretty challenging game. Uh, and it certainly has... a surprising, uh, a, re a real capacity su to surprise you with some of the things it throws at you. You'll notice I'm entering rooms a lot, uh, slower than I might otherwise be. 
because of what the game has thrown at me. Um, let's go this way. Oh great, a narrow corridor. A narrow corridor with blind corners. That's what I love. But there's no pipe in here. Nothing gonna spill out and there are millions at me. That's a loud room. That guy, alright. And, oh! Didn't even see him. Nothing else? No. What about this way? We're not too bad for ammo. I'd like to get some more pistol ammo. Now we have the pistol, but we don't have anything to shoot it. Or to shoot in it. Any horde of zombies gonna spill out at us? That guy's having pathing issues. There we go. Uh, this thing? Let's take that stuff. See what's over here. Oh man. Anybody else? Probably. Yeah, that guy. Sto Whoa! Yeah, I should have expected that. Actually, this might not be so bad. Because of the narrow hall. We can line them all up right like that. Oh, one more. Is that it? Anybody else? More? No. Okay. Uh, we don't have room for a med kit. What can we drop? We can make... Um... That'll give us some room. Then we can get the med kit. And we will use the med kit. And then we can get this other pistol, but that... Uh, oh, it does have ammo. Let's bring that up. And let's... Drop this. How do we drop again? Q. And then we need to move everything up. Can we make another plate? No. Okay. Oh, uh, more guys. Okay. Anybody else? Is that thing gonna spew a bunch out? Nope. Okay. Any secret entrances or anything over here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's continue. Honestly, I'm kinda hoping I do die. I don't know what I'm gonna do if we get to level 4. Um, because this is all, oh, why didn't that spew out a bunch of stuff? That would have been perfect. This is already surprisingly, uh, palms are sweating, it's got me on edge, is basically what I'm saying here. So if we get to level four, um, I'm going to be a nervous wreck. Primarily because the cost of, uh, the cost of losing is so high, you have to start off all over again from, um, level one until you get to level five, and so far that's been, uh, an impossible task. Maybe I'm just bad at the game, I don't know. Other people might have a lot easier time at this, but I find it... ...quite challenging. Oh. Uh, 48 health. We're not... ...not in an ideal situation. We don't have any more empty cans. Uh, let's go... 
go into that very loud room and pick up some things. <clears throat> What's over here? Oh, another corridor with blind corners. Oh no, it's one of these rooms. That is a door. No enemies in here? That's weird. Not even a, one of those... Oh, two pipes. What do you think? Nope. How about this one? Huh. Alright. Uh, let's go through this door. Oh, that's the teleporter. Okay. We actually might beat this level. I'm not entirely thrilled about that, but we will do it, maybe. Assuming nothing down here uh, destroys us. There we go. Can meet, get a bit of health back. Let's reload this shotgun. And that's a secret entrance. Let's open that up. Is there... I think I've opened one of these up before and there's been... One of those zombie pipe things in here. Nope, med kit. Sweet. We'll take that. We'll take the hardware. Can we build anything of interest? Let's make a... We have a nail gun. Yeah, what the heck, let's combine those shotguns. That'll give us some room. That kind of looks like it could be blown up, too. That might just be a wall glitch. Uh, let's look on the map. Yeah, there's nothing there. Alright. But there is this. Now that does look like it can be blown up. Let's do that. Uh, oh, this is just that room. So it could have been blown up from this side. Fair enough. And I think we've been everywhere else. That was... And that there was, I think, one of those warp things. Okay, we're going to end the episode here. Anybody in here going to kill us? No, what's this? I don't know what that was. Okay, oh, nail box. Grab that. Zap. That is the end of level 3. That's also the end of episode 3. I need to calm my nerves for a few minutes here. Um, next time we're going to try level 4. If I don't survive on that one, I'm actually going to, I think, uh, take a break for a little while. Because, the yeah, it, it's a little bit uh, frustrating to replay the same two or three levels over and over again just to hopefully make a bit of progress. Um, so, this will be episode 3, I'm Nightcad, we're playing Tell Glitch, I will see you next time, take care. Really, uh, hope we can find a pistol on this level, that uh, we've been picking up quite a bit of ammo for one, and actually let's eat some of that canned meat, there we go. The, uh, oh. Oh, these guys. These are, I guess, uh, possessed marines or something. They have a lot of health. Crap. Uh, oh! Well, that's disappointing.